Hello there and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you a really uh, fancy Python module that I recently found. It, it was not that recently <laughs> updated as you can see, but it's uh, working on Python 3.10. So basically the idea is to capture input from different input devices on your machine. And this is what we will see. So currently I'm in my virtual environment and uh, I would like to give some light to my face. Oh, better. So uh, let's install the PyNPUT. And once this is installed, we can create our first uh, script. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and uh, basically create a new mouse come on mouse.py and here what we would like to do is to go ahead and capture our mouse coordinates so from py and put dot mouse we would like to import the controller and we create our mouse from the controller instance and while true we would like to go ahead and print out the current position and technically this is going to come from the mouse dot position and if I go ahead and save it and run it we can go ahead and execute it so python mouse.py as you can see this shows the mouse coordinates as i travel across the screen and <laughs> uh, since i have multiple monitors it's uh, the x is in negative uh, value but if i move to the other window it gets to the positive value <laughs> all right and what's funny on the left side of my external monitor it shows minus 1920 and on the top uh, on the rightmost side of my external monitor it shows 1919 so <laughs> it's it's just a little bit interesting all right and uh, <clears throat> let's create a more sophisticated script so mouse listener dot py and from uh, py and put dot mouse import controller and we will define an on move function and <clears throat> basically it will take an x and the y coordinate and we would like to print out our new coordinates so uh, current position x is x and the y is y and in order to use it we can use a blocking and a non-blocking approach so with blocking what we could do let's import the pi and put mouse as well <clears throat> so with mouse that listener we would like to define the on move function which is going to be our on move that was defined previously and we say that listener is our yielded name and listener listener that join so let's go ahead and try to run it python mouse listener so as you can see this will only update our screen if the position has changed it's a bit more elegant than putting this in a while loop and uh, <coughs> this is basically a, a blocking way 
to do this, let me close it and navigate to the pi and put pi and put scripts activate. And if we want, we can use a non blocking way. So basically, we create our listener, which comes from the mouse that listener on move we will have the on move function and use the listener dot start and yeah this this would be the way to use the python shell to transfer control to a separate thread and then you could use the script to capture basically something else that was one way and uh, I want to show you how you can create a key logger with this so basically from pi and put we import the keyboard and we would like to have an on press key which will print out the key pressed key this would be an F string and the on release key and print key released key. And we have two approaches. We could use the with keyboard listener and as listener. And here we have to define the on press and the on release functions, and then we use the listener dot join. Let's save it. And if I go ahead and run my script and start <laughs> inserting values. You can see that when I press and release the A character, we get the message. And now I cannot escape the script. <laughs> but let's go back to the terminal and activate our environment and transform it so that we can log this. So with open. Uh, Keys dot log in up and mode as logger and we see logger dot write and new line character and we could also use it here logger dot write slash m and save it and uh, if uh, I want to have like this built-in mechanism to break out of this uh, uh, loop then what I could do is to say that if uh, 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 key is equal to <laughs> Let's make this the O character. Then we use the raise system exit. All right, let's save it and go ahead and run it and start typing. Now we don't see anything on the console, but if I go here to the keys.log, you can see that this is the message that or these are the messages that have written out and uh, if I go and press the O I should be able to see that this stopped yeah and we don't see oh we can see the messages no it has stopped so <laughs> That was all I wanted to show you. I think this is a pretty fun module that you can play with. See you in the next one.